So it's because it was close to Montmartre. Um, some of the painters lived there. And, um, they knew each other. They sometimes went out to Anier together. And you can tell that they're egging each other on, they're talking, and each one of them is developing a very different style. So, for example, Fajoch goes his way. Uh, Seurat is very much known for his little dots, pointillism we call that. Bernard goes in a different direction. But they come, clearly come together working in this area and talking together about what they're trying to achieve. Everyone kind of knew that these painters were working in the same surroundings, but I don't think we realized to which extent. And when we started looking at postcards, really comparing all the locations and identifying this is the exact same bridge, they're all in the same area, that's really when it clicked and when we realized how important these specific locations along the Seine uh, were for these uh, five Parisian avant-garde uh, painters. So what we're presenting here is a period between his very dark Dutch period, you may know the potato eaters, and his very light-filled landscapes and other works from the south of France or Auvergne. You see him growing, changing by the minute in this exhibition, from the very early work that shows him very much in the Dutch idiom to really engaging with post-impressionism, with pointillism, with all these new styles and these new colors. So for Fajoch, the two years that he spent in Paris mean a radical shift in the way that he works. So from 1886, when he arrives until 1888, he, his painting style un undergoes a real revolution. So he starts to paint much more colorful works, adopts a looser brushstrokes and really sees that the modern way of painting um, in a much more impressionist style, if you will, um, is more suited for the art market in Paris. And that's exactly what he wants because he wants nothing more than to start selling his works. Of course, I think this exhibition sheds new light on this um, period that is little known and it showcases many works from private collections that are normally not on public view. Um, so it really showcases different works and also artists that are lesser known, for example, Charles Engrand, um, beautiful works in this exhibition, but an artist that is almost known by no one. So it really um, is magnificent to bring these paintings together.
things that 